if you're an artist like me or someone who's just getting into it there's one thing that will dramatically increase your render's quality through the roof and that is nature bro what are you talking about man like, if you're like me your scenes probably look a bit like this boilless yeah i know you need something to maybe spice it up a little bit and the answer is trees well yes trees are an absolutely perfect solution to filling an empty area it's recorded that almost 99.9999% of your renders would probably include something with nature, whether it's trees, bushes, vines, or something else. But I think no more, as I have the best solution. An add-on called TreeGen creates uh, trees that are customizable to your liking. These trees can be changed via the settings built in, uh, but it's like creating a custom tree, but 10 times easier. The add-on is built into Blender, so you would not need to download anything into the description. So yeah. To add this add-on, we go into Edit, and then we go into uh, Preferences, and what you want to type in is Tree Gen, or like this, and it should come up, and then just, just tick the box, like so. And now your add-on has been applied, and you can use it in your Blender scene. Next, close the tab. Shift A and then go into uh, Curve and then at the bottom of that tab there should be Sapling Tree Gen and that is it basically and now you can just customise it to your liking if you just go into that little tab right at the bottom that's with any add-on and you can um, change it to your liking you can change the subdivisions, the roots, the whatever it says there but yeah, you can change it and it has so many possibilities and there's also presets you can choose from like this. So if you don't want a certain tree, then you do have the ability to change that species. As you can see, I'm just playing around with the settings, seeing what branches, seeing what branch lengths would be good. But now you can actually uh, change the texture of these, um, but you can also convert the uh, curves to a mesh which may be easier to texture if you do want to go into that but yeah that's basically it now you would never have to model any trees by yourself or never look at any tree model uh, models online but yeah that's basically it for the tutorial and um thank you for watching i've seen i appreciate every person who's subscribed and i um, would love to hear your thoughts in the comments down below if you do have any YouTube video su suggestions, let me know down below, as I am running out of ideas. <laughs> so yeah, thank you for watching, goodbye.